Hey there, I'm Angela Sharp and welcome to the Daily Mix. We are now in 2022. I know it's been a whole year now, really, since I've seen you. I hope you had a great new year. Did you make any new year's resolutions? You know, I always make them and then I always tell you what they are. So hopefully that'll keep myself accountable. So I'm back on my clean eating. If you don't know, I have Hashimoto's, which means I'm on a very strict eating regimen. However, between Christmas and New Year's, I just do whatever I want, which is not healthy at all, but it makes me happy. So I'm back on my clean eating. I am going to try to cuss less. I never cuss here, but I do cuss in my regular life and it's not cute. So I'm gonna try to, try to make that stop. I'm also going to try to make the best of wherever I happen to be, even if it's not cool. And I'm gonna try to do whatever I want within reason, right? So for instance, on New Year's Eve, I went out with some friends and you know, everybody dresses up and they put on the dresses. You can tell I'm not really a dress up kind of chick, right? So I wore jeans and a t-shirt and it was totally fine. No one really cares because everybody only cares about what they're wearing, not what you are wearing. Also, I'm trying to remember that this whole life thing is really just a game and that makes things happen like when you're not very happy about things happening, you can kind of just laugh it off because it's all a game. Oh, and I'm gonna get married. Okay, I'm not really gonna get married, but are you excited about these wedding dresses back here? They're so pretty, right? Patrice Johnson, owner of Patrice J Bridal Studio. She is gonna be with me a little bit later on in the show. We're gonna talk about all things bridal. Of course, we're gonna talk about these gorgeous dresses. Plus, she's got a grand opening coming up. So if you are actually getting married in this new year, or maybe even 23, you are gonna wanna stay tuned. So let's get started on today's Daily Mix. Is getting healthier on the top of your list for 2022? If so, January 12th is a great day to start, if you haven't already. Now it's National Take the Stairs Day, and the American Lung Association of Missouri is challenging residents to adopt healthy habits in the new year by, of course, taking the stairs. It's also the kickoff to the annual Fight for Air Climb. This June, climbers will be able to take over 1,000 steps in Bush Stadium to support the St. Louis climb. And for those who can't attend the event, the Lung Association will offer a climb your way option. Registration for the June 4th event opens January 12th. You can find all the details at fightforairclimb.org slash St. Louis. And we know that lung health is especially important right now as the COVID-19 pandemic continues. The St. Louis area has been seeing a rapid surge in cases and as a result, we're once again seeing temporary closures. The St. Louis Art Museum and the Missouri Historical Society, which includes Soldiers Memorial and the Missouri History Museum, have both announced they will be closed through the end of January. Both museums do plan to continue offering virtual programming, however. Now this includes the History Museum's eighth annual MLK Community Celebration, the weekend of January 15th through the 17th. Several events celebrating the life and legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. will still be offered virtually via Zoom. A full schedule, links, and the most up-to-date information can be found under the events page at mohistory.org. And the Art Museum will be holding its second virtual edition of the annual Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Freedom Celebration, featuring local performing artists responding to photographs of Dr. King from the museum's collection through dance, music, and spoken word. The on-demand program will become available on January 17th and can be viewed anytime through the end of 2022. You can learn more under the events at slam.org. Now I'm gonna tell you about a bunch of events coming up that I'm very excited about, but I do wanna say, make sure you check before you go. We're in that weird time again where we don't know what's gonna be open and what's not gonna be open. So as I tell you about these awesome events, make sure you check it before you go. Now the Gateway Arch National Park, along with the National Park Service, will be hosting the first of five entrance fee free days 
on Monday, January 17th in honor of Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Now at the Arch, that means ticket fees will be waived for the tram ride to the top and the documentary movie. The museum is always free to explore. So you can plan your next visit. Go to gatewayarch.com. And St. Louis Community College at Florissant Valley and North County Churches United for Racial Harmony and Justice will be holding their annual Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. celebration virtually. The event will feature inspiring speeches from the Urban League's Michael McMullen, North St. Louis County students, and more. Now, while celebrating the excellence in the community, the virtual celebration will take place on Tuesday, January 18th from 6 to 7.30 p.m. Everyone is invited to enjoy this event by visiting slcc.edu slash go slash FV MLK Day or 89.5 KC FV FM The Wave. All right, you guys know that Mardi Gras season is officially underway, right? This year's festivities kick off on January 6th with the 12th night. Now that was super fun, right? Next up is Family Winter Carnival. This is the alcohol-free, kid-friendly Mardi Gras celebration, and it gets started at noon with fun for all ages, from bounce houses and fire trucks, police vehicles, to furry friends to pet and feed, and of course, interactive activities with local artists and musicians. The whole family can also pick out festive crowns and masks and get some face paint to get ready for the children's parade at 3.30. The good times get rolling on Saturday, January 22nd at Soulard Market Park. For more information, current COVID guidelines, and more, visit stlmardigras.org. Now, of course, there are a lot of festivities still ahead, all leading up to that big day on February 26th. And I don't know if you've heard yet, but Shaq, yeah, Shaq, AKA DJ Diesel, he will be in town to headline the Epic Tent. This is an all-inclusive premium open bar event taking place behind Social Bar and Grill in Soulard. And of course, it's selling out fast. Now, just think about this. I know that he's mostly going to be in that tent DJing, but you remember Mardi Gras in the past. Obviously, last year it didn't happen. But in the past, it's been a sea of humans, right? As far as the eye can see. If Shaq happens to be out there walking around, you're going to see him. He's going to be a giant compared to all of us regular-sized people. That's going to be pretty cool. Now, like I said, that event is selling out fast. The event will run from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Saturday, January 26th. You can find tickets and learn more at fintent.com. Now, a new documentary is coming to the Science Center Omnimax Theater, and it's giving us a bird's eye view deep into the prairie wetlands, a place that millions of birds and animals call home. Wings Over Water takes a close look at three amazing bird families, bird highways, known as flyways, and so much more. Take a look. From the heartland of North America comes the story of a hidden paradise. Discover a wetland oasis vital to millions of birds. Fly alongside the epic migrations of these remarkable creatures as they return home to raise the next generation. Is this real life or make believe? You are the wind underneath my wings. You got me higher than I've ever been. When I'm with you, I'm flying. When I'm with you, I'm flying. Meet the diverse wildlife that all play a part in this bountiful ecosystem. When I'm with you, I'm flying. When I'm with you, I'm flying. And join the inspiring people working to protect it. When I'm with you, I'm flying. Soar across the prairie wetlands and learn why we all need wide open spaces to spread our wings. When I'm with you, I'm flying. Narrated by me, Michael Keaton. Coming soon. Wigs Over Water opens at the St. Louis Science Center on January 14th. For tickets and more information, visit slsc.org. 
You guys, I'm so excited. All right, okay, so obviously these awesome wedding dresses have been joining me all show, but now we have the person who brought them here, Patrice Johnson, owner of Patrice J Bridal Studio. Thank you so much for coming on the show today. Thank you for having me. I'm so excited to be here. Well, we're so happy now. Let's talk a little bit about your backstory because you are having a grand opening of a store. I am. And you did all this during a pandemic. I did. Okay, so let's talk about that a little bit. All right, so I decided to go full-time bridal January of 2020, and then promptly after that, the world shut down. So um, we have persevered through the multiple closures and all of the restrictions, and now we are back and in a new location. Um, so I now have a storefront, and we officially open on the 15th. And so that's coming up. So there, there's going to be a ribbon cutting and all ribbon. sorts of fun. Yes, there'll be a ribbon cutting. There'll be a trunk show and a vendor fair. So it'll be an intimate shopping experience for our brides if you're still looking for the pieces of your wedding. So DJs and photographers, you'll be able to meet them in a less overwhelming environment than a bridal show. Than a huge bridal show. Absolutely. I went to one of those with my sister and, and those are those are massive. Massive. So this is kind of a more intimate setting. Yes. Probably people that you really know and trust too. Yes. Great vendors um, all from the St. Louis area. All are smaller businesses so you get to shop small, support the community, really make an impact and where your dollars go. It's beautiful. So now you said you started kind of making clothes. Yes. Well before all of this bridal thing Absolutely. started. So walk me through that a little bit. So I started sewing my grandparents sewed. So I learned from kind of from them. And then after, I'm from New Orleans originally. So after Hurricane Katrina, um, sewing became a hobby. Kind of took my mind off the stress of all the transition. And um, so I started out just doing regular clothes. So I would make capri pants and cute little dresses. And then I graduated up to like formal gowns. And then it w I did, I had a friend ask me to make their bridal, their wedding dress. And it was like nothing but bridal since then. I yeah. love that. So if someone comes to your store, they're gonna find some pieces like these. These are these are re yes. retail kind of dresses that you could yeah. find that that you like. Yes. But they could also come to you, and you could just magically make something special for them. You're magically, like a, yes. Like a fairy godmother. Yes. Fairy dust. I love it. Just fairy yes. dust. There's no work involved. It's no, all no, fairy no. dust. I have like it's like Cinderella. Yes. Um, I love this. So yeah, your vision, your wedding dress vision. So you can take the top of one dress, the bottom of another dress, um, the sleeves of another, put them all together and we'll create your vision. We'll shop the fabrics together. And once you have made your approvals, I can make it for you. And then you have an original piece. No one will ever have. The world will never see it again. Um, yeah. Now, now that is for those people that have some extra money to spend. Extra money to spend, they yes. They really want to have a blowout. But what I liked about, you told me earlier before we came out here, your store, if a, if a bride's coming to look for a dress, what mm -hmm. can they find? All the dresses in my store are $2,500 or less. That is amazing. So very budget friendly because the wedding is one day and then the marriage is forever, hopefully. Um, and you have to live after the day, so yes. I think that's amazing, especially if, if you're out there looking for your wedding dress and maybe you don't have a lot of extra funds for it that way at least you know what what you're getting yourself into when i went shopping with my sister some of those dresses are as much as a car payment our car would be absolutely so that's insane but this way so you're telling me that that these two dresses over here are Less in that price range absolutely <gasps> I just want this one to wear like on a Tuesday. It would be a lot, I know. I, I have been advocating for a dress fancy day, so everybody put on their formal gowns and we just go to Walmart together. I love For no that. reason. Just, just dress up, have yes. some fun. So now in addition to opening up this new spot, I saw that you gave away some Christmas gifts. We did, we did. So I have two young boys, they're 10 and six, and so I'm trying to teach them that Christmas is not all about getting things. Um, so we um, put a post out on my social media asking someone to no asking people to nominate families. So we found a family with a nine-year-old, a five-year-old, and then a like eight-month-old baby. And we were able to purchase some Christmas gifts and they came and luckily we were in the new studio so they were able to come to the new place and pick up the gifts. Um, I stayed out of it and let my kids do the actual like handing off. They walked into the car which was really fun. Oh that's so yes. nice and it, it's a good thing to try to teach people that yes. giving is also good. Absolutely. <laughs> it's fun but giving's also good. Yes. Now with the new store that's opening I know we, we have some photos of 
kind of that in its stages, but now it's all done up, right? Oh yeah, it's really nice. There's pictures on the wall. And so I've done like my decorations in the store. Instead of it just being random, you know, stock images, I've actually been using photos from my past brides. So when you come in, you know how in your home you put the pictures of your favorite people up yes. on the walls? My favorite people are up on the walls. So there's gallery walls and then there's a nice photo because everything has to be Instagrammable. Right, So there's an Instagram wall and then, you know, nice dressing rooms and it's just very intimate and cozy. I tried to maintain the, the feel of my previous space. I love that yes. so much. And so you get to, now it's already, I like that you have an Instagram wall. Yes. You're right. <laughs> that is very important, especially when someone picks their dress. Absolutely. They're going to want to stand there and be like, ah, I picked my yes. dress. I said yes, yes to the dress. Right? I say yes at Patrice J. Rydell. <laughs> I love that. That's perfect. So let's talk about the grand opening and what's going to happen that weekend. Absolutely. So on Mon um, Saturday, we're going to kick things off with the ribbon cutting ceremony and tours. So family, friends, just come on through, see the new space. You'll get to do tours. Um, there'll be some refreshments from local vendors. Um, so you'll get to try out some things, meet some um, vendors if you're shopping. Um, also just for parties because wedding vendors are pretty much party vendors, right? Right. Um, then we'll have on Sunday a trunk show. So if you are looking for a dress, I'll be putting on display of a brand new collection of dresses by um, these dresses are made by Aria. All of the dresses are $2,500 or less, and they include two T-length dresses. So for the bride who's a little bit different, we got her covered. So she'll have like two little T-length options. Um, so we'll have models wearing those dresses so you can see what they look like on a person versus on a dress form, which is very, very different, right? Right. Um, and then on Monday will be the intimate vendor fair. So um, you can come in, put together the rest of the remaining pieces. I have your dress. You have to get your dress from Patrice J. Bridal. But everything else will have like some of my favorite vendors and then they'll be there on site. You can kind of pick from and meet them when it's not so overwhelming and you'll be able to remember them. And what I also like about your store is that you also have kind of gift ideas. A lot of people give their bridesmaids maybe a little gifts after the wedding and you have kind of little gift ideas right there in your store. So maybe you could take the stress of that away as well. Yes, yeah, so I'm really hoping that Patrice J. Bridal becomes like your source for all things like bridal and wedding related. So the gifts that I have selected for the store are practical gifts. Things that people actually want and will use again versus, you know, the little trinkets that, you know, sometimes end up in the wedding bag. So um, practical gifts, you can personalize things. There's cell phone holders and water bottles and um, makeup uh, bags, cosmetic bags, things that you can use and you will use and you'll remember. That's cute, I like that. Yes. You gotta tell me, I mean, like I said, you can't provide me a man. We've already talked about this. <laughs> I'm working on but it. But <laughs> I thought you could. Let's talk about what's coming up. What's kind of the trends for this coming wedding season? Brides are loving sleeves. Illusion sleeves, so it's sheer through with little details. Those are so pretty. So it's almost like built-in jewelry around the neck, around the, you know, your bracelets. It's built into the dress, so you don't really have to worry about accessories. And then the forever popular always will be the mermaid gown. We love those mermaid gowns because they show off your figure and they flatter, but I will always tell my brides, go for the dramatic train because people are staring at the back of you for the majority of your wedding. Um, that's all they'll see, you know? So give them something to stare at. <laughs> right, like like let them, and the one that you brought here is all glittery and it's beautiful. You brought it, some of it to the front here so we can yes. see it. Yes. I really like that one too. Now in your custom, let's talk about what you've been doing some custom work. So my custom dresses are very seldom are they white. Okay. Most people come in, they've been choosing African fabric. I have a bride that I just met with, her dress will be champagne. So they just want something completely different and off the off the beaten path. It's, it's definitely not something you can just pick up off the rack. I love that. And, and they would sit down with you and you would go over all yes. that. Yes. Bring oh. in those Pinterest boards that are usually like a minefield of just like pretty. Yeah, we kind of narrow those things down and, and then decide. I love it. Patrice, yes. thank you so much for coming in today. No, thank you so much for having me. I'm excited to be here. Tell everybody where they can find your store and, and come join you. Yes, yeah, so we're located in Bridgeton. Our address is 11977 St. Charles Rock Road, and it's Suite 134. We're in the shopping center with Hobby Lobby. If you like Hobby Lobby, you can find me there. Um, and then we'll also, you can find me on social media at Patrice J. Bridal. That's Facebook and Instagram. And I'm also on TikTok. TikTok is fun. Wait, you're on TikTok? I am on TikTok. Are you doing bridal dresses on TikTok? I'm doing, yeah, wedding dresses and bridal content. You can actually pretty much see the, the store transform on TikTok. Oh, I'm, I'm going to follow you on TikTok. That's <laughs> happening right now. Now, after you follow her on TikTok and check her out, make sure you follow us on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram. You can always drop us a line at thedailymix at sdltv.net. 
That's going to do it for us, but keep it right here and experience hypnosis. See you next time.